Hello, my name is Joseph Irons, founder and operator of Irons Brothers Construction. I'm here with my daughter today, Samaria Irons. Hello. And we're going to show you how to take a birdhouse kit like this and turn it into a birdhouse like this. Like this. Like that, like all of these. So, before we start a project, what do we need, Samaria? What's the first, what's important? We need our safety equipment. Oh. First, on the number one list, we have our safety glasses, so nothing gets in our eyes. Then, a little... Ah, first okay. aid kit? First aid kit. Yes, why do we have a first aid kit? So, if there's any injuries, we can patch them up. Oops. Patch them up as fast as we can. And, and to stay hydrated, we have a water bottle for a sunny day like this. Oh yes, it's rather refreshing on a day like this. That's what the water's for, right? Oh, he's supposed to drink it. Well, it works both. As I'm dripping with excitement now, we're going to the birdhouse. So you don't have to worry about cutting these up if you are one of the lucky winners today. But this is a plank of wood. This plank of wood turns into, after several cuts, the birdhouse kit. It's a one by six by five foot piece that you can get one birdhouse out of. So one piece of lumber, you get a nice house and you can increase the bird population. So we're set there. What else do we need? We need some tools, right? Yeah. So first we have a hammer. We have a screw gun or drill, another one, and then a big one for the hole in the front. The hole in the front we pre-drilled for these kits because not everybody has that hole saw. But if you're at home and you're just watching this, you want to make your own, you're going to have to find a drill bit. And there's some tips on the right size to attract the right size of birds. So step one, we have to find the pieces and we need to secure the front to the sides. And it's important when you put these in, I like to have a little bit of a lip here and you bring it up a little bit for venting. I'll show that in the next step. So, wow, so are you already done? Look at this, she already got it together. Um, typically we pre-drill a hole, thanks for the drill. We pre-drill right through here, right? I'll, I'll do one on the other side here, but on the back side, we would go like this, line it up, pre-drill this hole, and there's gonna be four of them. Then we get a nail, pop it in there, and then I'm gonna pop this down, and you would nail it in. That's step one here. We're already on step two, we got the back. So the back's here, we secure the back to the sides, because originally we put the front to the sides, kept that little gap for venting, and then we put the back on. So now we have the front, the sides, the back, all secure. What do we need? Well, we need the base, we need the foundation, we need the bottom. Does that look like the bottom? Yes, it does. And you're already ahead of me. You already got it on, you nailed it in. Sometimes the nail bends sideways. That's okay, the birds don't mind. If it's a big deal, you can always pull it out, put it back in, we do that too. But pre-drilling the wood will help eliminate a lot of that. Next step, we probably need to get the roof on, right? Yeah. So the roof, there's two pieces in our kit that you just have to put together. There's ones you want to saw, you have to cut a little lower so it's even. And then you go like this, pre-drill, and you put the nails right through just like that. So just make sure these are nice and tight. Boom, roof is ready. Now we put the roof on. The trick on the roof, we have to pre-drill this. So we pre-drill with a countersink bit like that. Perfect. So Mario just did that well. So now we switch this tip out. Oh, we had another tip on the table here. And we're nice and organized, so we found it. We're going to put this on. And then we'll put the screw here. Let's see. Line these guys up. Uh, that's, looks good. You want to just screw that in. Oops, let's put the drill in the right direction. That always helps. There you go. Nice. And then we'll do the other one. Let me grab this one, Henny. And we'll just go. And the reason we screw the roof in is so you can take it off next year so you can clean it out and the birds can use it again. The birds will come back annually, but they do like a clean house and they don't do the best at cleaning their own house. So we have to pull it out and clean it for them. Earlier I spoke about having venting. That's that venting I was talking about. This venting is great for the air circulation to come in and out the house, as well as at the top here. So any air can circulate in there and any water in there can drain out too in case there's a leaky roof on this. Although this is pretty quality built, it shouldn't be leaking, but. Sometimes they bring a little mess in and we have to get it out. Other things we want to talk about is, well, maybe you already wrote your name on this, didn't you? When you build a birdhouse, it's good to have a Sharpie to write your name on the bottom. 
So you, the birds know who to thank for building their house. Wait. Oh, we forgot a step, didn't we? Yeah. What is this for? That's a perch so they can sit out on top and look at their friends and say hi. Yeah, so you can just put a little screw on the front and the birds can sit there and say hello. Um, other things that we can provide is we've got some great helpful tips on how to attract birds um, and some links on here. We're happy to share that with you. It's some great resources. Most of it's actually from the Washington uh, Department of Fish and Wildlife. Um, they talk about nest boxes, the hole sizes, how to attract birds, but we put some of the simple tips here and a link to their site. Other things uh, I wanted to make sure we covered was just, it's awesome when our friends that have built these birdhouses and clients and people from the Shoreline Arts Festival send us the pictures of the birds using their homes. We get several every year and we love it. We love seeing how the birdhouse population has increased in the city of Shoreline, basically because we give out hundreds and hundreds of birdhouses at the Arts Festival. Please contact us at ironsbc.com to give you the tips on how to build a house and how to attract birds.